What's good, BitRushers? My name's D5Brains, and you're watching BitRush Crypto. Today's video, we're going to be going over a how-to video on using Sunday Swap, providing liquidity, making a few swaps, and even setting up our wallet with a DA Cardano. So Sunday Swap has recently just launched this month and as well as smart contracts and we want to just get in here early and show you guys how to use it how to make those swaps and possibly we might end up just saving liquidity for another video depending on how much time and how this video goes but before we get into it make sure you guys do sub to the channel smash that thumbs up button guys go ahead and do it um, if you're not already like i said make sure you subscribe to the channel we do have a lot of good stuff on the channel how to's and everything DeFi, nfts a bunch of good stuff as well as trading and make sure you follow me on social media as well at d5 brains and we also have an nft project launching this week as of today's video pre-sale should be live and within a couple days we will be live on mint so go over there and check us out at thechillcubes.com also linked in the description and let's get into the video Okay guys, if you want to follow along with the video, you can come over to sundayswap.finance. It is the URL for today's app. Um, we can go to the actual DAP by entering enter app here and it's exchange.sundayswap.finance. And it looks something like this. We'll get back to that in a minute though. Just wanna kind of go over the website and what we got going on. So Sunday Swap is a native scalable decentralized exchange with automated liquidity provision protocol. Essentially, it's going to be the Uniswap of Cardano. If you're familiar with what Uniswap does, it's also a decentralized exchange and ownerless marketplace for efficient cryptocurrency transactions. Democratize ownership and profits, so deconstruct the walled gardens of classic financial institutions by allowing anyone to provide liquidity. And on that, we do have efficient liquidity level up beyond constant product pools and put your capital to work. A foundation for a variety of services, attract assets that can empower the ecosystem of financial products. So they do have several investors on board here. You guys can see some of them and as well as a few big partners here. And then they do have some social media links here and just a few more things in the footer like the tokenomics and FAQs, news and updates if you guys want any of that sort of stuff or a media kit if you guys are interested in doing any sort of news on this or whatever. Um, I like how they have all of that stuff available for you. And again, clicking through to the app, you can see here, it does kind of have a similar feel to it as like a Uniswap, which is what they're going for, um, essentially to be the main decentralized exchange for the Cardano network. Now we can connect our wallet here. However, I don't have either one of these. I do have um, a Yoroi wallet you guys can see up top here, but it looks like we're going to need one of these other ones, the NAMI or the ccvault.io. I'm just going to go with the top one here because it seems like that's generally the most popular one is what they put on the top. I'm not familiar with either one of these and maybe I'll do a future video where we cover both. But today I'm just going to go ahead and try to pick up this NAMI wallet. So clicking through, it says a wallet to experience Cardano to the fullest. Namey is available on Chrome, Brave, and Edge, and a little FAQ on it. So let's go ahead and click Chrome. Hopefully it brings us to the extension page, and it does. From here, we can simply add to Chrome. Click Add Extension. Like Sync On, you can turn it off. I'm not really into that, so I'm just going to exit out. Next, we need to just come to the little puzzle piece up in the top right and make sure we have it turned on. You can see it's not checked, so just check it, turn it blue, and now we have that wallet available. If you already have a wallet, such as your Yoroi wallet or another Cardano wallet, you could just import it and use the same coins and everything that you had before. I don't actually have one set up yet. I don't have my wallet phrase available right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and set up a new one. So new wallet, accept the terms of use and continue. 
and it's going to give you a seed phrase here. Make sure you write all of these down. Um, put it in a safe spot. This is essentially your password. So if someone gets this, they're going to have access to your account. I'm going to go ahead and just pause the video and refresh this and get a new seed. But I just wanted to show you an example of what it looks like. All right, you're then going to have to verify that you had the right phrase written down and place a couple of those words back in in the right order. Once you confirm, you will be greeted with this successfully created wallet screen and you can go ahead and close this tab. Now, when we click on the extension in the top, it should have our name. I forgot to mention, you're also going to have to set up a wallet name and password. So go ahead and do that. And from here, we can click on receive to get our wallet address. And we can also send if we wanted to send some coins. And again, we're just going to have a nice overview here. Looks like this is going to be coins. This might be, it says gaming paddle, but I think that might be NFTs. I'm not sure. And then this might be transaction history. Let's just see, yeah, collectibles, transactions, and assets, okay? And we can also search here. Now that we have our Namey wallet set up, let's go ahead on back to Sunday Swap. This page. And now we can go ahead and click again and click that check mark and let's click the Namey wallet and hopefully it syncs up. So it's going to say exchange.sundayswap.finance. This app would like to view your balance and address, request approval for the transactions, only connect with sites you trust. Okay, so we do trust Sunday Swap, even though it might have some you know, errors or things like that. That's up to you guys how much funds you want to put in this wallet and test at this point as it is a new service. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and just click access. We're now connected. You can see successfully there. And we have several options here. We can create a pool. We can provide liquidity or we could also swap. The first thing I need to do is to get a little bit of Cardano in my wallet. So just give me a minute while I send some over from my, my Yoroi wallet. All right, so I was able to get just a little bit of ADA in my wallet, 261. Now we're ready to transact on the network. I think I'm just gonna do a simple swap here. Um, Sunday swap for ADA. So what we saw with Uniswap when it first came out is the price was very low and by the time it picked up transaction obviously um, increased quite a bit and made quite a bit of profits if you got in right in the beginning. So let's just hope the same thing is true about Sunday, the token here for Sunday swap. So let's go ahead and swap for some of that. And you see if you click on it, it gives you a little bit more information, all of the price information, how much each equals, um, gives you the option to provide liquidity if you want, or just go ahead and swap. This is gonna open up a more traditional style swap menu that you're used to seeing from like a Uniswap or you know basically any other decks out there on the market. And just as like a side note guys, over here on the side menu, you can go home, swap, liquidity, or orders and kind of see everything that you would need nice and easy here from the main menu. All right, so everything looks good here, except we wanna hit that arrow and switch ADA to Sunday swap. And we can see our balance is a maximum of 261. We are going to need a little bit to transact on the network. So I'm going to go ahead and swap over 250 ADA, which is about $277. The current price of Sunday swap, that's going to get us about 291 Sunday. So if everything looks good, go ahead and swap. Again, it's going to review all the details of the transaction. If everything looks good to you, go ahead and click order swap. And that's it. Ordering swap of 250. We are going to have to sign here on our new NAMI wallet and we're going to have to enter our password. And go ahead and confirm and view orders. You can see one order is submitting. Let's go ahead and leave it here for a minute and come back. All right, guys, coming back a few minutes later, that did take about almost 10 minutes to complete, uh, but we can see that order is now 
uh, finalized here on the network on chain orders swap 250 for Sunday one Sunday equals 0.8880 a the current price is 858 and uh, awaiting scoop I'm not sure what that means but um, let's see here when your order is awaiting scoop your order has been recorded on chain is awaiting process by the scooper this may there may be orders of head of yours. Scoopers will attempt to process the orders on a first come, first serve basis. Okay, so I guess this means it's like on the network now. The network picked up the transaction and the scoop is like when they take the gas fee or whatever. I'm not sure, still trying to figure this all out, but that's what it seems like to me. They're just using like ice cream terminology to say that it hasn't actually been picked up and validated on the network so let's just go ahead and wait for that and hopefully this will pop over here into the on-chain order history all right guys we are back after literally like 24 hours i waited for this scoop to happen and it hasn't happened yet so i'm not sure what's going on but i'm not going to wait any longer to get this video out to you guys just at least teach you how to get the swap done um, i will probably do another update video here within the next couple days let you guys know how long it took and all of that to actually finish and finalize and be able to see those coins in my wallet I'll also be doing another updated video on providing liquidity um, on some of these swaps and hopefully in the future this does get a little bit faster so I can make these videos in one day. Uh, but that's basically everything for today's video. Again, guys, just a reminder, by the time you see this video, we'll be in pre-sale or about to launch or just launch the Chill Cubes NFT projects. If you'd like to support me and my channel, if you want to be part of a cool crypto launcher NFT game, come on over here and follow us at the Chill Cubes. You can find the website at thechillcubes.com, T-H-E-C-H-I-L-L-C-U-B-E-S.com. And the mint link is going to be mintdap.link, M-I-N-T-D-A-P-P dot L-I-N-K. So if you guys have pre-sale, you can mint here. And this will be switched over to the regular mint tomorrow. So come on over here and mint as many as you guys would like. Again, thank you for watching my channel. I hope you did enjoy the content and learned a little bit of how to get done your swaps here on Sunday Swap with ADA Cardano. Again, thank you for watching. Sub to the channel if you're not already. Smash that thumbs up on the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy crypto. Let's keep getting that going.